Here we have now Anton Korov from the Nova Foundation, and Anton will present Nova Wallet, the next generation mobile app for Polkadot. Come on up to the stage, Anton. Let's start with the problems. 
Protons are really unique feature in the Polkadot ecosystem because you as a user are invited to participate in the shaping of the ecosystem. So you, <laughs> you're basically able to select all these networks which will join the ecosystem and participate in it. From the NOVA uh, side, you have access to all the protons on Polkadot and Usama. So as soon as they appear on the blockchain, you will see them in the NOVA world. Now, you also see your contribution history, and that's really uh, important to start, because contributions made for a um, working period of one or two years, right? And it's really important to yeah, not forget stuff and see the, all the details that when you contributed, how much you contributed. So, yeah, that's available now. Now, as soon as the parachain launches, it's usually a common proxy that they distribute the rewards according to your contribution size. And in NOVA, we're intending to add the networks as soon as possible. So as soon as they're added uh, to the ecosystem and running producing the blocks, you will see them in NOVA, and eventually you will also see the, your rewards as soon as the parachain will distribute them. Staking. Staking is an amazing feature, and with NOVA you can stake on the relay chains like Polka and Usama, on the power chains like Moonbeam and Moonriver, and also on the solar chains like Ali Zero and the Polkadot solar chain. Uh, with, of course, Pyrus and Turing coming soon. Now, why it's crucial to stay on the on chain? Yes, of course, your keys, your tokens, right? But the issue with on chain staking is UX, right? Especially if you're talking about the real chain staking. It's really not trivial to select the validators, especially for the people who just come into the blockchain area, right? So our goal uh, roughly two years ago was to solve this issue. And at the same time, we would like to be in a crypto-friendly space, so we'd like to not limit our users with some predefined validators and whatsoever. So we solved it by providing two options. You can stake in one click with recommended validators, which are basically unbiased collection of validators. So best of the best are recommended to you to stake this. Or if you're advanced enough to select it by themselves, then you can do it. The second feature, the second feature is basically to analyze your staking. So you can get access to all your total rewards, your staking rewards history, so that you can understand your earnings uh, from the staking. And the third one I mentioned before, but just to kind of uh, provide more details, you have access to all these advanced features for the staking. And if you're talking about the bulk of that staking, you're able to set up the controller accounts, you're able to see the like pending rewards or future rewards, and of course change your reward destination. So using this approach, we are able to combine the experience for both, like new users who are just coming to the system, and at the same time to provide advanced users, like validators even, to use the Nova and maximize their user experience. Yes, just recently we made kind of revolutionary thing, but Nova has a DL browser built into the mobile application which supports Polkadot.js and MetaMask protocols. That combination allows you to connect to any of the DIA in the ecosystem and utilize your keys from the mobile wallet in any of this application, like speaking of SubSocial, Moonbeam, even UBM app. So all of them are supported. And if you think about it, that's a really important because that kind of allows us as, a, as a developers to win some time because we are not limiting users they are able to connect to any of the apps available in the ecosystem, right? And utilize their user interfaces and so on. And at the same time, by having support of this orange box, we are able to communicate beyond the ecosystem. So for example, to reach the token from other ecosystems to the Polkadot using these DApps. On top of that, yeah, uh, we support the internal catalog of all these DApps right in Nova, so you have access to all of them in the convenient list. But if you don't find your favorite DApp, let us know. And you can also enter the euro and browse the whole, uh, yeah, basically web free with the phishing protection. So we have a uh, daily updated list of like phishing sites and we are not allowing you to visit them. And of course, 
<laughs> Sorry. And of course, you can manage your favorite devs. So that catalog that you have, or whenever you browse the web using the DL browser, you can mark uh, them as a favorite DL so that you can customize the experience for yourself. Now, we just talk about what we have today in Nova and what's available today. Now, let's have a glance for what's coming next. So, we just received a second treasury grant from the Kusama, which will be allowing us to focus on cold wallet integration because we would like to extend security in Nova wallet by integrating the party sign and the ledger. In addition to this, <laughs> can we go back? Yeah, in addition to this, we will also try to revolutionize the governance, kind of what we did with the staking, but we are going to reinvent the UX for the governance features. And by the end of the year, you can expect that we will have more networks as soon as they launch, more tokens, more staking options, and more features that request by the community. Yeah, that was what's coming next, and now I would like to invite everyone from you to help us building and to join in this journey. All right, how we can do it? Well, the first of all, we are really listening carefully to our community. So you can submit your feature idea or you can vote uh, for the features on our panel. You can get all the links that kind of presented here from Scanning this QR code. But the idea is that we are fetching the all ideas, the, uh, the all community requests from our social media, and then we are including them in Kusama Treasury proposals. So the consulars can uh, give us approval for building what community wants. The second one, if you're a builder in the ecosystem, you can go really crazy. So you can go to the nowhere at GitHub, submit your network, and if that's approved and merged, in less than five minutes, your network will be available in all node wallet uh, users. But yeah, if you don't want to submit a pull request, you can just contact us and we will work on adding your network, talking the app to the node. And the third one is kind of amazing, because by this journey, uh, which we had building the native mobile applications for Polkadot, we also build lots of stuff in the open source, from our native SDKs for iOS and Android, to the design assets so that you can just go to our Figma and select all these icons for the project so that you can make your app prettier, right? And also what would be very useful to others is that we are maintaining software APIs for the transaction history. So you can plug your application to the software API that we developed or you can run it by your own and that would make your UX of the application more mature because you have this transaction history, staking rewards, and all this data available. So yeah, feel free to scan the QR code, see all these things available, and that would be it from my side. Thank you. in its dedicated security storage on the operation system on the mobile, so iOS and Android have like, specific secret storages for it, right? Before storing them, we also encrypt them, right, for additional security. So, we are using that. In terms of the encryption libraries, it's very common approach to use what people already developed and tested. So we use the common libraries for any encryption uh, and all that stuff. Uh, in addition, we also wrote like multiple automation tests for the encryption parts, so that, just to make sure that every import-export case is covered and supported. And beyond all that, we are now working on the cold wireless integration. 
right? So even if you, that's not um, enough for you, let's say, right? You would be able to connect the cold wallet, like a ledger, party center. That should maximize your security approach because, uh, yeah, even if you did a good job, still your uh, keeper is in cold wallet and somebody concerns uh, about the security in this approach, right? For that people, we're developing the support of the cold wallet, uh, such as party signing and ledger, so we can yeah, utilize the best and amazing interface of Nova and also the security of cold wallet. One, two, one, two. Yeah, uh, so just have a question with regards to staking. We all know it's quite complicated to stake on the Polkadot web wallet, and there are multiple steps that you have to go through. Is there a plan to simplify staking on Nova wallet so that you can automatically select a validator on behalf of the staker? You don't have to worry about picking and choosing which one. Yeah, so whenever you stake in Nova, right? You have two options. You can stay with recommended validators. Those, yeah, debatable, but those are like a best at the moment of time when you see them, right? In terms of like a profit, profitability, reliability, and all this stuff. And the second option that you can select them manually. So we have access to all these available active and waiting validators, or better say, elected, not elected validators, right? And you can choose in a convenient interface like this filtering, sorting. Uh, so yeah, you can select with that as by yourself. Cool. We have the last question there. Would I be able to use Nova Wallet if Talisman at some point, perhaps to uh, use Nova Wallet as almost like multi-factor authentication for my transaction? So what was the question? Can I use <laughs> Nova Wallet to do multi-factor authentication for my transactions in Talisman? So I could Form a transaction in Talisman and then confirm it in Nova. Yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> Thank you, anonymous sir. So. Completely <laughs> <laughs> stranger. Uh, but yeah, we're considering to collaborate with multiple teams, including Talisman, on working on some amazing features in terms of like both um, usability and security, right? So we can imagine to have something like Nova and Talisman. We have the keys in both, right? But for the security reasons, you would like to have this two-factor authentication experience. So in order to transfer funds from your account to another, you will need to confirm it in both Nova and Talisman, right? So that would be one of the cool ideas. Right. Thank you so much. Next on our program is Gregory Hill from Interlake, who will take us through a work